the law is quite prescriptive about what's acceptable and what isn't. Uh, so if you have a handheld mobile phone, as in you're holding it in your hand and using it while you're driving, then that is an offence and you will be prosecuted. Now, if you're stopped in a, a traffic jam or you're stopped at a red light, some people think that's an opportunity to catch up on messages or make calls. Uh, the law actually is quite prescriptive around that activity as well and that is included in the offence. So stopping at a red light and, and using your phone still means that you commit the offence. The only safe way to, to make a call when you're behind the wheel is to stop in a safe place, turn your engine off, engage your handbrake and, and make your call. Legislation also goes further and it talks about um, mobile communication devices and devices that are uh, capable of sending and receiving data. So if, for example, in your car you had your iPad attached to the air vents in your, in your car on a, on a cradle and you were interacting with that device, you were accessing it, sending information or messages while driving, then that is also an offence and again, you're also liable to be prosecuted if you were to drive in that way. So the safest advice I can give people, and it's not the law, but it's the safest advice I can give people, and it's the advice I'll give to my 17-year-old son when he starts driving in the next few weeks, is when you get into the car, turn off your mobile phone, lock it in the glove box, lock it in the boot, or turn on air airplane mode, and that way you can absolutely guarantee you're not going to be distracted, and all of your attention will be on driving, keeping you safe, and keeping other road users safe. The, the law doesn't prohibit the use of a mobile phone in a cradle, so mobile phone in a cradle or a hands-free car device or Bluetooth device are permitted by law. What your uh, viewers will need to be careful of is that if they are driving a car and they are not in proper control or they're distracted by the device, which could happen if a phone is in a cradle or if, it, if they're using the hands-free device or indeed if they're eating behind the wheel or changing a CD for example, then they commit a different offence of not being in proper control of that vehicle and that's still just as serious and the consequences of driving while not uh, in proper control or while distracted can be equally devastating for them, for their family or for other people's families who are using the road as well. There's definitely a, a propensity for people to want to use their mobile phone when they're driving and, and we see people using their phones when they're driving while we're out on patrol. Um, anybody that's seen by a police officer using their mobile phone while they're driving is going to be stopped and will be prosecuted. There's no doubt about that. That's some of the examples where I've seen people driving using their phones. Uh, I, I drive a, an X5 marked police vehicle and you, you can imagine it's very visible. Uh, well actually people have not seen this vehicle as I pull up next to them while they're still on their phone. So that shows you the level of distraction um, that, that people suffer while they are using the phone while driving. And of course those people are prosecuted, end up with points on their license and having to pay a fine. So it's a really serious business we're talking about. And, if you take it to its extreme and you're involved in a serious collision where somebody is, is hurt uh, or in the worst case scenario somebody loses their life, you can expect that your phone will be looked at by the police, the data on your phone will be downloaded uh, and we will check to see if it was being used at the time whether to make a call, to send a text message or to gain access to the internet and if that is the case then uh, you can expect to, to receive a custodial sentence if you are found to be at fault.